Hello, my name is Mahendra Mahay. I'm the manager of a project called British Library Labs, which gets people to experiment with our digital collections. I'm going to be talking to you today about accessing our digital resources as part of the British Library's Fashion Masterclass. Here are some useful websites if you're interested in exploring some of our digital collections and learning more about labs. Labs has supported nearly 300 projects working with researchers, artists, students, including fashion students, entrepreneurs, educators and British Library staff. We've done this largely through competitions, awards and projects. We're particularly interested in using our digital collections in education and we're working with other colleagues around the world who have similar labs to share ideas and best practice. This link, which appears at the bottom of all the slides, is a link to the slides, which, which will also contain other useful links if you want to explore further. First, I want to distinguish between digitized and born digital materials. Digitized materials are materials that have been created through the scanning process. So we would scan a physical item and create a digital copy. Born digital materials are those that were created digitally first such as websites and Word documents and images and also ebooks, for example. A good place to start if you're a fashion student is at the British Library's fashion site, which contains lots of useful information, such as case studies of different fashion students who've used our collections for their work, news stories that are relevant to fashion coming from the British Library, there's a section on the fashion site called Explore More, which contains other useful links, such as a link to the Business and Intellectual Property Centre if you want to develop a business idea, or you can apply for a reader pass if you want to become a member of the library and look at items on, at, on site. You can browse our catalogues. You can explore a very large image archive called the Flickr archive, which has over a million images and free for anyone to use. You can follow us on Instagram and find out some of the images that we share there or explore some of the visual arts that we have. We also have blog posts. Here's a useful blog post about how to make art using the Flickr Commons collection posted by Hannah Nagel, who works in the imaging team for the British Library Qatar National Library Partnership. You can explore several videos that we've created uh, um, that relate to fashion, such as our late event, our Tatum Jones competition, or information about the current competition and, and an interview with Nabil Nile and Sarah Moa. The British Library's digital collections and datasets are very varied. Here's a small snapshot. Broadcast news, such as TV and radio, digitized music and sound recordings, including sheet music, digitized playbills, books and newspapers, including the text, images, manuscripts and maps from the Middle East via the Qatar Digital Library, or China via the International Dapong Project, digitized Hebrew manuscripts. We have lots of digitized maps. We also keep snapshots of UK websites. We contain, we also have things like usage data and uh, book data. You can start your journey looking for our collections via the British Library's main site and you can use the explore function. Here I've switched to main catalogue and typed the word fashion. As you can see on the left hand side there's different access options. I'm going to choose online as you can see there. Here I found a book called The Perils of Fashion which is available digitally. I'm now going to click on the button I want this and then go to digital content collection item go. Here we can see the digitized book called Perils of Fashion. This link also provides a, a, li a link to useful resources that are made available digitally through the British Library. Another way to find digital collections are via collection guides, which are written by curators and experts. As of the 3rd of November 2020, there are 259 of them. They offer a subject journey through our collections. They often have a section on what's available digitally. Here's an example of a collection guide 
written about some digitized books that we have from the 18th and 19th century. About 65,000 of them which are made available for anyone to use freely. You may want to download a large collection instead of a single item. You can do this via data.bl.uk. Currently we have 150 datasets. It's very simple to use. You can just download the entire collection as a big zip file. They're also available on our open access repository. I've created um, this page for other links to other useful digital collections that you might be interested in. Mentioned earlier, the British Library Flickr Commons collection is something that BL Labs has been developing over many years. It contains over a million images free to use. The public have been engaging with, with this collection for many years and use them for lots of projects. They've added their own tags. There's been over 2 billion views, really. Um, and also these are some of the albums that have been created by people such as Women of the World. There's even a fashion album. I, I really encourage you to have a look at this. Wikimedia Commons is another place where we've also put some of our collection items. Please explore that link below. If you're interested in looking at some of the projects that have been developed using our digital collections, I've created this Digital Projects Archive link, which categorizes our projects in by research, educational, artistic, entrepreneurial, community, and even staff work. Finally, I'm going to finish with some example BL Labs projects or that where we've highlighted particularly interesting use of our digital collections. Dina Malkova was the BL Labs commercial award winner in 2015, where she had cr created uh, bow ties and cufflinks. The design was actually taken from the front cover of a digitized image of the original manuscript for Alice in Wonderland. We sold these in our shop. Nabil Nayal won the commercial award in 2019 for his fashion range, uh, which was inspired by digitized Elizabethan manuscript images. David Normal, a surrealist artist from California, made four collage paintings with our Flickr Commons collection. He then made these paintings into huge light boxes which were exhibited around the Burning Man in 2014. We then worked with David to bring that artwork to the British Library and we had it installed outside in our piazza. There's David standing in front of the artwork proudly. We also developed an app which when you hovered over the paintings, once it recognized an image, it would take you back to the book where that image came from. Mario Klingerman was our first artistic award winner in 2015. Mario uses algorithms to create his art and also categorize things. On the left, you can see 44 men who look 44, something he did for his 44th birthday. And on the right, a collection of 400 images he found where there was always a hat on the ground. Mario won a major art prize in 2018, which was based on using a, a set of Western portraiture to enable a computer to create its own art. The Imaginary Cities exhibition in 2019 was a work that BL Labs did with Michael Taki Magruder, where we took four digitized maps and the interaction with those maps online and created four artworks in the library's entrance hall. It was a very successful exhibition with over 150,000 visitors with talks and events and a limited edition book. Finally, just a quick shout out to the BL Labs Public Awards for 2020. This is to encourage anyone who's done a cool, innovative project using our digital collections and data. We're particularly interested in anti-racist, pandemic or computational projects, but anything goes. The deadline is the 30th of November. Thank you very much. And there's a link if you want to explore for, for further details.